how long do they last before a new infestation starts going to spread? Uh, before it starts spreading? And do these times change on different difficulties is one of the questions. From Nando, uh, I'm assuming this is over on YouTube. So the time for spreading is generated based on a couple factors, including um, how much noise you're making at your base and how many, uh, newly with the upcoming PCR features, how many infestations are on the map and how many plague nodes have been defeated actually. And it does have hooks to the difficulty system. So we should see uh, different different uh, behaviors on nightmare lethal versus green and normal. Well, and I know that was one of the things that, um, you know, I, I pretty much um, exclusively play on Lethal. And I know that when I was uh, poking around with it, that there were some people who were talking about how it seems like Lethal is, lethal, the Lethal spawn rate is much faster than even that on Nightmare. Um, and so, uh, you know, one of the things that um, we talked about, oh, look. There's those there's some screamers. Let's go get them. I think your 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 targets are disagreeing with you. Well, I got two of the four. Like I don't know. Two out of four is not bad. The first time. All right. Pretty so, bad for a few score. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. But you know, uh, we could driving backwards is also a quote unquote strategy. Um, mostly because we don't want the engine to go boom. You had mentioned that defeating plague hearts um, does that make the system go easier on me as a player, or does that make it more difficult? Um, it's complicated. We are attempting to build the the blood plague as an almost an intelligent threat actor, like something that will look for you, respond to what you do, and ramp up its response depending on how dangerous it thinks you are. So whereas when you start out, you have a couple of uh, or you have a couple of infestations, no plague hearts kill them. Plague, blood plague doesn't really react to your presence. Uh -huh. The upcoming PTR, as you kill off the first few plague nodes, that infestation and blood plague system is going to react to that and is going to become very aggressive and will go into destroy mode. It will try to wipe you off the map. You'll see a lot more infestations spawn and a lot more frequent horde growth and uh, sieges. Okay. Until you can manage to take care of the problem. I think we already addressed this a little, a little bit, but on harder difficulties, the, the frequency of the horde is going to be based on your... At all difficulties, the frequency of the horde, uh, whether it's an infestation horde or a siege horde, is going to be based on the amount of uh, noise or threat. Um, I think it's the threat bar that's in your community. Um, and... Uh, like in lethal, for instance, here let's take a let's take a really quick look. I've only got four people in my base uh, on lethal here, uh, so let's take a look. And I'm at thirteen threat, so an eight of that just comes from the difficulty. And so the answer is, to some degree, yes. Difficulty certainly has an impact, but it's basically just the amount of noise or threat uh, that your um, that your survivors create. So with only four. I get plus two noise per survivor, but that's different on different uh, difficulty settings. So and that's how it works right now. In the future, we're changing a lot of this. A lot of the growth statistics for infestations are going to be directly controlled by the difficulty settings. And Eric has actually worked on a system to split the concept of threat from the concept of noise. So whereas right now uh, your survivors make noise at the base and that means that infestations are more dangerous and sieges are more dangerous, uh, we're going to make it so that noise controls how fast infestations 
grow and spread, like they're responding to your presence on the map. And then the number of infestations control threat, which dictates how dangerous sieges are going to be. Ah. So the number of infestations will so if you're if you're sort of on top of things and you're you're uh, keeping the uh, infestation population down, then it's going to be easier. Mm -hmm. Or easier to, to fight off sieges. So it, it then it so then the siege the siege severity is directly linked to how you as a player are are taking uh, are taking action or not taking action in handling. Uh, zombie population on the map. Right. This gives you a kind of buffer between the siege reaction and your actions at base. No longer will anything you do have a direct impact on how frequently you have to go back and fight off canned uh, massive siege hordes or whatever. Now that'll feed into the growth of infestations, which in turn feeds into the separate mechanics. So it's a, it's a Slightly removed from your direct actions, and feels a little less. It uh, feels a little less random. Um, mm. You know, I, I'd like to say that it, just, just as a player, it's it's really nice to be able to like take control of the of the systems in the game uh, instead of just being like, okay, well, it's morning, and I guess I have to head back. You know. So in theory, then. Under the new system, me defeating this Plague Heart will increase uh, the frequency with which the other, the other infestations start appearing. Oh, that's a juggernaut. That is the acting theory, yes. It's not quite a kill one Plague Heart and bring hell down on your head sort of thing. It's like all things in the game, in all games, uh, gridded on a curve. But there will be a response as you start to attack the plague. The plague will uh, start to uh, fight back. I don't know that the morale system seems any different in the PTR, Zoe. Do you know if anything has changed there? I think if it hasn't directly changed yet, there are plans to do so once the threat and noise split is in. But I'm not sure what those plans look like. Okay. The fluffiest ogre. Um... So, so the the curve for determining the blood plague's response is it going to act as a curator? Like in that, the more zombies you've killed, it tracks in a point system based on what was killed, and when it hits a threshold, it responds. Like the more you kill afterwards, results in more, uh, resulting in spawning more and more threats to the player. So, like the more you kill, does that mean that the blood plague is going to respond in kind? I tried to answer that offline, but um. To Zenogre's question, it's not a direct response. Like you, it's not like the the community standing system where you get to a certain point and then things happen. It's more of a curve where the more plague hearts you kill, the more aggressive their response is. The more the more infestations grow, but it's it's a control on the existing infestation growth rate rather than just spawning things in response to actions you take. 